So they're the most trusted tiller on the market with over 2 million users. Oh. Oh, right, start doesn't mean to go on. Uh. I'll tell you what, I've had enough of this. It's got to be an easier way of doing this. Oh, let me have a think. Who's a jammy boy? Who's a jammy boy? Right, so in front of me, guys, I have got the Mantis Deluxe Tiller, and it's running the little GX25 Honda engine, so it makes it really talky, really light, but what makes this more than just a tiller is the range of attachments you can get for it. So in front of me, I've got five or six different attachments that all do different things around the garden, which will mean you have got one machine that does five or six different tasks. So let's have a look at the product in use and see how it will benefit you. And remember guys, we're Machinery Nation. We bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday. Please consider subscribing and like this video. Tested by Machinery Nation. So this little Mantis Tilter is actually powered by a GX25 engine. So it's a little four stroke engine. So it's lower revving, but it gives you really high torque. And you'll find with this little Mantis as well, it's 11 kilos, so it's nice and lightweight. So it gives you plenty of power to do most of your garden tasks, dig your ground over. And if you can't cope with a big rotavator, then obviously this is going to be a decent tool for you. Mantis themselves have been going for about 40 years. They know what they're doing when it comes to rotavators and tillers. And in the Mantis range themselves, they've actually got a battery product. They've got a couple of electric products and they've got the two petrol. Now this is the deluxe model. This is the one with the comfy handles. They're fully adjustable. And fundamentally, the more basic model, only the only difference is, is the handles. But as you can already see from what I'm doing here, the way the tines are designed really do give you a really great tilt. So it gets, gets a lot of air into the soil, really does churn it over. Now, it's probably not recommended for real heavy clay sort of soil, but for your you know, once your ground's turned over, or if it's a garden you're regularly um, using, this is definitely the right product. It's also very easy to handle and manoeuvre. Just let the tines do the work, and it kind of speaks for itself, really. So I can actually vouch for one of these machines. I've got one myself. Well, it was actually my late grandfather's. And the reason he had it was obviously getting into his older years. He didn't want anything too large. He wanted something really easy to start, but still give you a really good job. So I inherited it when unfortunately he passed away and it's still going strong now. It would be about 20 years old. And they are incredibly easy to start. The little tiny GX25 Honda engine on there. It's got a little decompressor, so it makes it really easy to just pull over and start. Just watch this. <laughs> Gotta turn it on first. Easy. So the other thing this Mantis Tiller comes with is the handy stand. That literally just folds up for use and down for standing it up. This is what I really like about Mantis Tillers. Look at the soil, look how much air it's got into it and look how well broken down it is. Perfect for very fine seeds. They'll grow very, very well in this type of soil. We've seen what the tiller does. Let's try out the rest of the attachments. So the first tool we've got is the furrowing attachment. Now these work just like the normal tines that are fitted to the Mantis tiller, but these are designed to basically work narrower. So once you've got your plants growing or your seeds in the ground and you just want to go up the, the line you're going to walk through, knock off any weeds that might be growing, that is the attachment for you. So no, this isn't a Japanese throwing star. This is actually a lawn edger and you have a handy little transport wheel as well. So this will run forward and this will run at the same time. Edge up your lawn, give you a nice straight border and none of this uh, offensive weaponry. So the third attachment is the dethatcher or scarifying attachment. So if you've got a lot of moss in your lawn, whack this onto the mantis tiller, rev it up, and it will get rid of all your moss. 
So now we're going to try the scarifier attachment on the lawn and try and rake out some of this moss. Now, my first thoughts is I saw these metal bits and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to get a spanner out, screwdriver, put these on. But actually, they're really simple, and that's what makes the Mantis really, really good. It's just see all the attachments just fit very easily. And with these ones here, all you do, there's a little bit of a lip here, a lip there, and that just basically fits, he says, hoping, over there like so. That attachment goes on like that, and then that, you just knock into place and then you can put your scarifier attachment on and just turn it round into place and then you're easily protected and you're not going to get any debris flying at you. So with the scarifier just let it do its thing, just hold it back slightly and it will obviously churn out all that thatch and all the unwanted growth in your lawn and all in all just give you a healthier lawn. Oh, look at it work. Look at the amount of moss coming out of the lawn there. And that is what you don't want in your lawn. All that moss and that real dead grass there. And it's doing a really good job. And that's only on its first pass. Now number four is this wire wheel. So what have we got a wire wheel for? Well, this wire wheel is designed to dig out your moss and any weeds on paving slabs. So get it in the cracks and it will dig it out. So the attachments are really, really easy to change. Literally, it is just taking out the R pins you've got on there. So you've got one either side. They physically just slip off like so. And there you go. Just slip your other tools on. Put your R clips back into place. So probably my favourite attachment is this little plough. Now if you're going to sow your tatties or your spuds or your potatoes, whatever you want to call them, put this on the back of your tiller, it will drive itself along, make a nice little tunnel or a little furrow all the way through, you can drop your seeds in, turn them back over and it will be ready to grow. So with the plough attachment, obviously we want to make a furrow to put our seeds and our potatoes and everything through. Now with this one, you actually bolt it onto the mantis. There's a couple of bolts on the frame, just bolt it on. It can be quickly and easily removed as well. So this bit can actually stay on the machine. But you can see here from the principle behind it, this is designed to go through the ground and push the soil to the side, which gives you a nice trench to put all your seeds. And last but not least, our sixth attachment in the range is the lawn aerator. So these spikes are designed to basically dig into the ground, open up and make gaps to allow any water and moisture into the ground and away, and also harden up and give you a better root structure. So there you go, I am thoroughly impressed with the Mantis Deluxe Tiller. Now why do you want to choose a Mantis, I hear you ask? Well basically they are the most powerful mini tiller on the market. They're designed to last, easy to use and dig fantastically well. So they're the most trusted tiller on the market with over 2 million users. So couple that with a worm transmission gear, no belts on it, and the high strength alloy transmission, it's designed to last for years and years. The versatility is also the other thing. You've got one tool here that does six different jobs. So there we go. That's the Mantis Deluxe Tiller. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just remember, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Gone are the days of the trusty fork. I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> what they say? Turn your switch on first. Carry on tilling.